Mark Hyman there for us. A woman who believes her father murdered an 11-year-old girl more than half a century ago has claimed he was a paedophile on the scale of Jimmy Savile. Sandra Brown believes he was part of an abuse ring targeting care homes. A family grave in Scotland is being exhumed to see if it contains the body of Moira Anderson. James Matthews' report contains flash photography. The end of another day's digging and no sign yet of a missing 11-year-old schoolgirl. The search for the remains of Moira Anderson, who went missing in 1957, will continue in the morning. In this remarkable story, Sandra Brown is a remarkable aspect of it. She's the daughter of Moira's suspected killer. She did much of the organization that led to this search, and she waits at the cemetery to see if Moira will be found. My father was every bit as much of a paedophile as Jimmy Savile ever was, and my sad conclusion is that Moira's not the only child in the central belt of Scotland who suffered this fate. Whether we find her or not, we know we've looked. I hope we see results from the next few days. My belief is that, you know, it's been a very difficult road, but there's reasons why we're here. We've not just put a pin into a haystack. What forensic scientists are investigating is the theory that Sandra Brown's father, Alex Gartshore, a convicted paedophile now deceased, concealed Moira's body inside this grave 56 years ago. I believe that there really was an active paedophile ring that was operating in this part of the world. Who knows if it's still the case that it is. But my belief is that in the 50s, 60s and 70s, certainly, there were other victims and they are very likely to have come from care homes. And those would be kids who unfortunately would be labelled runaways, they would be labelled troubled teenagers. And sadly, they would possibly not even be reported in the media at the time. They are digging in a grave that contains the remains of eight people. There are indications that Moira's remains might be found here, but no guarantees. And so the search here for Moira Anderson continues into a third day. There is clearly hope on the part of everyone involved, but also an acknowledgement that if she isn't found here, she never will be. James Matthews, Sky News, Lanarkshire.